Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Lumen Moon Tarot. So guys, I've got my feet kicked up and I'm getting ready to start a collective love reading, okay? This reading is for the collective. It is not going to be for all of you. So please just take what does resonate and leave what doesn't, okay? And thank you to everyone for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, everything across the board. You guys have been awesome to me. Thank you so much for everything you do that's helping this channel grow. Um, yeah, I really appreciate all of your support for the channel. All right, guys, so I've got this tiny little deck here. It's a little oracle deck, right? But it's absolutely uncontrollable because it's so small and slippery. So um, I'm just going to pull like this, okay, just randomly. Oh, and my, my hearing in my um, right ear just went out. So I don't know what that's about. Somebody's talking maybe about me. Who knows? Who knows? I want this one. And I want, ooh, I like this one. And I want this one. Oh, both of those came out. Okay, wasn't expecting that. But let's see what we've got. Um, is it true? Uh, am I good enough? Guidance. Okay, this is kind of like talking about the twin flame thing, the reading that I just put out. Respect, decide, right. Yeah, this, this coincides a lot with the twin flame soulmate connection that I put out yesterday. Um, I feel like there's a masculine energy that's, uh, I'm hearing completely gobsmacked. I've heard that before. Who is saying that? Um, yeah, they're, they're really surprised that, that, that this is an actual, this twin flame journey thing is actually, actually a thing, right? I think they're, um, they're wondering, are they, is it really, are they a part of this? Am I good enough? This could be you too, person watching, but I feel like this is a masculine energy. And they're asking for guidance here. Um, I feel like this person is learning some respect for you, some respect for all of the effort that you put in, some respect for believing in this journey and this path. Um, and it's time for them to make a decision and it's got to be permanent, like um, like they've got to be strong about their decision. But I feel like, just like the reading yesterday, this person is deciding to maybe write you a letter um, or a song or um, maybe a, a book about this. They, somebody here may, may even decide to write a book about this journey. But yeah, they're starting to respect everything, um, everything that maybe you've said about this or written to them about this. They're respecting, they're respecting it a lot more. The more they find out, is it true? The more they find out about this journey, um, the more they question themselves, and that's a good thing. You want them to take a look at themselves, right? Because in order to heal, um, wounds they have to first see them huh <laughs> they have to see what they need to heal for so that i feel like this person's looking at them so this is somebody who's starting the effort and i feel like just like in the twin flame wasn't it the the twin flame reading i did yesterday that they need to write something um, or that they were writing something, trying to be finding a creative way to talk to you, or maybe that was on Patreon. Maybe that was on Patreon. That was in Patreon. Yeah, that was in Patreon. Um, but yeah, this person, they may write you a song. They may write you a letter. Um, they could be like writing text message, typing text messages and then erasing them. Um, yeah but they're respecting you and all that you've gone through a whole lot more 
All right, so let's see what's going on with this person. I'm going to grab the baby deck. Okay, what can you... Oh, that's way too many. Sorry, guys. What can you show me here? I feel like this could be a twin flame soulmate. You know, I'm... I'm seeing this as the guidance I'm seeing as the divine, a spirit helping this person, guiding this person along, right? Everything in their world is kind of crumbling, and that's what needs to happen, you know? Foundations need to crumble to the ground so that a new, better foundation can be built. Um, yeah, this, and, you know, honestly, I feel like the divine is out here. This is a soulmate connection, a uh, divine one, I feel. Perhaps this someone here is um, running the risk of, like, tower a tower moment, something failing here, if um, they're not careful with their choices. This could be your person. Wish fulfillment here coming through. Your wish fulfillment's coming through, but you need to be careful because for a lot of you, your person isn't ready to come forward yet. They still have a lot to clean up in their in their life. So um, a lot of they're getting a lot of karma right now. I feel like this is like um, like a karmic tower moment. Um, things falling apart. Um, that kind of thing. They could have problems with their car. They could have problems in their home, even losing their homes. Um, so be very careful because I don't know who this message is for. There is someone who's waking up to the, to the um, connection, but they may be coming forward to you a bit prematurely before they clear up this karma. So you're, you need to be careful because you don't want to be included in this, okay? Um, wish fulfillment, yeah. I don't want to put that on the divine. Yeah, this is someone that you've wished for maybe. Um, yeah, I feel like this was a wish and you guys have been on a long, winding journey since, since then. Got jealousy, anger out here. Someone, oh, okay, this is this is the masculine. All right. Yeah, this is the masculine. Now they're finding out about this journey. They're finding out about the twin flame connection, okay? They're finding out about your connection. They're finding out that this is the end of a cycle and that you're a divine feminine and that you're moving forward and you have to drop the things from the old cycle that can't come with you. And this person is now very upset because they're just finding out about all of this now. Okay, they're just really realizing that they're out of time and you're you're leaving. I feel like the this is like jealousy, anger, envy here. Um, and here they are realizing all of this, but keeping it on the down low because who are they going to tell? Who are they going to talk to about getting signs and synchronicities from the divine? You know, who are they going to talk to about this journey? Who? who? You're probably the only one who's really going to understand them in their inner circle now. You know why that is? Because it's time for this masculine um, to elevate. It's time for this masculine to realize, start their work and start moving on this journey. And all of the people around them aren't going to understand because they're quite frankly, they've outgrown those people and they're really not their people anymore. They need to be looking for their actual soul tribe. I feel like person watching, you could be a divine feminine here. And I feel like you're kind of leading the way in in this connection okay um but we kind of already knew that yeah because you're a divine feminine I, I feel like you are an inspiration to this person boy they've got a lot of respect for you now they have got a lot of respect for you now that's too many and that was my fault um I feel like they're a bit jealous because you have come so far in this journey and they have not. They're, they're way lagging behind. 
They want to cut. They want to do whatever they can to catch up to you. I'll tell you that much. They wanted this. This masculine here. This person wants to do whatever they can to catch up to you. Here's the thing, though. There's still for a lot of you, your people, your person still has a lot of destruction going on in their in their life right now. So so you need to be careful because um, that those burdens will become yours if if you're not wise right um but yeah this this person here oh and they are so worried about you finding someone else holy cow yeah they're really upset they're trying to do whatever they can to come towards you in time before you get a new person here this is how this is why there's jealousy and envy here okay i see because you're going out there alone. Now they're realizing everything, that there's an actual freaking strong and very important connection here. And you're, you're leaving the scene and you're going out there, venturing out on your own, alone, and single, beautiful, amazing, intuitive, divine. And they're really worried that somebody is, someone new, the other guy, the new cookie, right, is going to snatch you up. There could be someone new out there. This is a pattern. Maybe, um, maybe you guys, uh, you, you know, you, you get with, with people and when they're, like, if they're single, you're with someone. If you're single, they're with someone there's always a pattern and right now you're out there focusing on the fun coming off a broken heart Ooh, being a guiding light for a lot of people uh, who they know with as sh as bright and sh sunshiny as you are you're just shining right you're shining it's only a matter of time before you being single you're not going to be single anymore right it's only a matter of time before somebody finds you because you're truly a freaking gem you're you're a diamond you really are and this person is now they're beside themselves because they didn't see all of this before and they're seeing it now and you're out there having fun meeting new people oh this person they're losing it being a beacon for other people you shine so bright that there's no way people can't notice this. There's just no way. There's just no way. And I feel like you're tossing unrequited love and people that didn't treat you right, um, you're tossing that aside so you can move forward now. And that kind of includes this person if you haven't heard from them. You're moving forward one way or another and they know you're going to find new love. They can feel it, just like you can, Divine Feminine. They can feel it. So this person might be coming towards you prematurely um, because they do feel like they're running out of time. They don't want anyone else to have you. They're not, um, they may not be quite ready yet. They're learning, though. They're just realizing this journey, okay? They're just realizing this. They could even have found out that you're with another guy. Is it true? And maybe they're wondering if they're good enough to get you back. That could be it too. One way or another, though, the respect is out here. You've got this person's respect now for all that you've accomplished and everything that you've been through and how vibrantly you're shining right now. You've got their, you've got their respect. Definitely. I think you may have someone else coming towards you. For some of you, this is a new person. Maybe you've met someone new and they're, they heard about it. Is it true? So, I mean, take it how it resonates with you, but I feel like this person is, is learning this journey. They need to start doing the work, though. They've got to start doing the work. Anyway, guys, listen, that's what I've got for you today for this reading. Um, I hope this helps, and I hope it resonates. Um, and uh, if you like this quick little video, please go ahead, click that like button, subscribe to my channel, help me grow. 
And until next time, person watching, take care of you and peace out.